Welcome to Zillow's 3D Home, how to create a 3D home tour. Today, what you will learn is how to capture your own tour using the Zillow 3D Home app, how to manage and share your 3D Home tour, and a couple of other things along the way. So let's get started. From a high level, Zillow 3D Home has three components. The capture application, which you download from the uh, app store. Um, you create your panels, you create your connections, and then that's uploaded into the cloud where we stitch that together, work our magic, and then present it back to you as a finished tour that you can then either manage, share, publish, um, et cetera. So let's get into it. Capturing your tour. First, what you'll need to do is um, go to the App Store and download the 3D Home app. You'll also need uh, to log in with your Zillow profile credentials if you're an agent or photographer so that we can then identify you. Important to note that there are is optional equipment that you can use, um, including tripod, rotating head, and phone mount. Um, this enables certainly a smoother panorama, um, automates the process so you don't have to do it yourself. Um, but again, these are options. So what are you capturing? Um, you're capturing panoramas of a room, and you're creating connections, um, which are fundamentally walk paths from one room to the next. This enables us to stitch the room, stitch the home together in a way um, where people can get a sense of layout, a sense of space um, beyond uh, what pictures are able to do today. So how do I think about planning my route? Um, this is pretty simple stuff to do. Um, you just really want to create a linear path. Um, and in areas where you can't create a linear path, make sure that you can just walk back the way that you came um, via that connection point um, and make sure that you're connecting features like hallways and stairs. And don't forget the front and back of the home. That's pretty important. So tips before you start capturing um, to help you set the scene. Turn on the lights, open or close the curtains to get the right amount of light, um, turn off fans, TV, et cetera, things that might be moving and might disrupt um, the visualization of the home. And then open all interior doors. So getting started, when you open the app, um, you'll see the select create 3D home. And then you can associate an address with your tour right then. Or if you're just practicing just to get the feel of it, um, you can skip that part and go straight into um, tour creation, which you don't have to publish. So where do you start? Typically at the front of the house is a great place to start to set the context of what people will be walking into in the context of their immersive experience. How do you capture your panorama? Holding the phone straight up and down and slowly turning to the right, um, staying in the same spot until all of the large rectangles are now smaller rectangles and green. Um, it takes about 40 seconds to complete a full circle. Um, and again, if you'd like to use optional equipment, you can use a motorized mount on a tripod um, that will do this for you. Tips for capturing panoramas in different sized rooms. Well, for a small area, you probably want to stand um, in the doorway um, and lower the phone a bit just to make sure that you're capturing all of the important aspects of that particular space, um, be the bathroom or closet. In a medium sized room, uh, you step into the room and you would take a panorama of the entire room, like for example, a bedroom. If it's a large open area, like a kitchen or dining room or living area, 
um, you may end up taking two panoramas on opposite sides of the room just to show details on each end of the room. In addition to kind of, again, giving more context around space and dimensions. So things to do, orient yourself in the direction of your next panorama location um, once you've completed your existing panorama. Hold your phone upright and slowly walk during the connection to your next panorama location. Tap the blue button once you've arrived at your next location, and then it will prompt you to create the panorama there. Things not to do. Don't walk too slowly. Uh, normal walking speed is fine. Uh, don't tilt or shake the phone while walking. And end the connection facing a bare wall or white wall or mirror is probably not a great idea because if you're standing in front of a mirror at the end, you'll be caught in it. So what do I do when I'm done capturing? Well, preview your panoramas before leaving the home if possible. Reach a location where you're connected to Wi-Fi or a hotspot and upload all of your panoramas. Click the blue Done with Home button and choose when to publish your tour. If you're using uh, a professional photographer and that photographer is unfamiliar with uh, 3D Home, um, we'll be happy to train that photographer and you can reach out to us at zphoto at zillow.com. At the same time, we can provide you with a photographer if you do not have one. So how will home shoppers find your 3D home tour? In search results, your 3D home tour will show up as an icon at the top of the page. Um, they will also be in the home details page, a 3D, 3D home icon below the hero image. So managing and sharing your 3D home tour. Log into your Zillow account and click on Manage My 3D Homes or Zillow.com WAC My 3D Homes. From the editing dashboard, click Edit to move the arrow directions, delete panoramas, or change labels. Um, and then associating an address with your tour is important to do at this point if you haven't done it um, when you were in the capture process. So sharing your tour, we enable you to do that two ways. Uh, one way is with a link um, where we will provide um, a player that will show your 3D home tour, or you can take um, code snippet and embed it within your website, um, whether it be your personal website as an agent or a photographer or a brokerage, and you can share it there. So collaborating on your 3D home tour. If you're an agent and you don't wish to create the tour because you have a photographer who does that, you can delegate and give permissions um, and add an editor. Common questions. Is there sound in the 3D home tour? No, there is no sound. Is it available on Android? Today, it's only available for iPhone. Um, can I capture a 3D Home Tour with the Premier Agent app? No. 3D Home Tours must be captured with the Zillow 3D Home app. And how much does it cost? It's free 